to another episode of Lily's Sizzling. And tonight we are going to be making a bunch of different cookies. So because it's the holidays, we're going to be making snickerdoodle cookies, we're making oatmeal raisin cookies, and we're just going to be making regular oatmeal cookies. So we're going to just do a blend. So snickerdoodles are like a nice uh, cinnamon sugar cookie. Last year we did uh, we did sugar cookies um, with the frosting and with all the like little decorations and stuff on them. Of course I'm going to do those this year too, but not on film. We're going to be doing snickerdoodles and the oatmeal raisins. So the first thing you need is you're going to need a couple of bowls here to start grinding them up. So we're going to start off with our snickerdoodles first. And snickerdoodles are going to require one ingredient that you might not have in your cabinet if you don't make a lot of cookies or bake, and that's called cream of tartar. And you're going to need that. We're going to make a no, no sh uh, shortening version, so we're not going to need any shortening for our cookies. So we're going to start out with one cup of butter, which is a good couple of spoonfuls. In there, in there guy. Let's see. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, this ought to do the trick. Okay, so we're going to do one cup of butter. One point five cups of sugar, and remember, guys and girls, to make this before Christmas. You cannot make it on Christmas Day or Eve even, because the cookies, the dough, must refrigerate for at least four hours. Okay, we have one point five cups of sugar, and then we're going to take. A couple teaspoons of vanilla here and add this in. We're going to do about two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I like it a little bit more vanilla -y than most people do. Two. And one. There we go. Two and a half. All right. So we're going to blend this in. Basically, this is going to come up to a nice fluff. So we're going to fluff it. A good shot of inside the bowl. You see the same kind of fluff up like Alright, so we're back here, and Assistant Kaden is going to help us crack some eggs in. So, how many eggs do we need, Kaden? Two. Two eggs, okay. Do your first egg and put it in there, and then we're going to beat in our eggs and mix those until smooth. Okay, yep, very good. Here, give me the egg, and you do this egg. Crack it on now. Careful not to get the shells. Okay, good job. Good job. <laughs> we're going to beat our eggs until smooth. So, smooth. I have to the spoon. I don't really need the spoon much right now. Okay. Whoa, that's even beautiful. You're a beautiful cluster. Alright, so we have our fluffy egg mixture here. We've added the egg, sugar, the vanilla, and all that good stuff in. So we're going to take about two and three quarters cups of flour. Add your flour in. We're going to add in a couple of teaspoons of cream of tartar. And this is going to basically help out the mixture. That's okay. Okay, so the next ingredient here that we're going to be adding on is some baking soda. Not baking powder, baking soda. So this is going to require one teaspoon, so we're going to do two of these leveled off. That way we don't mix in our ingredients because so we've used the into the baking soda. So we've got a good one there. You must use this. Do not try to make it without it. Next comes the cinnamon. I'm going to do about 1.5 of cinnamon. 
All right, and so our next tank is this that we're gonna take and we're gonna mix this around good. And this right here is our dough. So here's our cookie dough. Ah, ah my shirt ate some of the cookie dough. It's been everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to have it like all over Why the kitchen. Why do chefs wear aprons? Durr. Yeah, oh well. Nothing okay. <laughs> Instead of pounding it off, you know, I'm just going to do this. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to refrigerate it. I'm going to cover it up with some parchment paper. And a little bit of your white dough got on my finger. Oh, okay. Well, lick it off. It's good. Mm, 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 it's mm. cookie dough, for heck's sakes. Lick it off. Don't lick it off if you're pregnant. Okay, so we're going to take a little pinch of salt, put that in there, give it a whirl, just stir it right on into the dough. Can I help? You will in a second. You're going to help form and make the cookies. That's your role. And decorate them and eat them. He did, really, he did really, really good on making pumpkin pies for me on um, Thanksgiving. We made two pumpkin pies. And Kaden made the pumpkin pies, and they're really good. And even when we eat things. Not yet on the food coloring. Put that down, kid. Yeah, I like food coloring. All right, so we're going to cover up this stuff, mm -hmm. and we're going to get it ready to go. We're going to put it in the refrigerator, lock it in for about uh, four hours, like I said. That's what I'd like to see at a minimum. You can do it at two if you need to. Try four. And this is going to go in the refrigerator, and we're going to start on our next step. All right, so now we're going to be making oatmeal cookies, so we're going to do a couple variations of them. We're going to do cranberries, and we're going to do some with raisins. Heck, we can even leave some without. So, but before we do that, uh, we're going to start in making our dough first. And our dough, once again, is going to have to sit before we add in all the goodies. So we're going to start with one cup of sugar, white sugar. I want to put it in. Yep, you can. Okay, there you go. Add in your cup Thank of white you, sugar. Thank you, my highness. You're welcome. Okay, and one cup of packed brown sugar. Now you gotta wait for this one. So we have to pack this. Remember what we did with our pies? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep, very good. We need a spoon or fork. I want Thank you. This fork. This one is okay. sticking to the other all the time. He has to do it properly. Okay, let's pack it down here. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yep. I'm good at this. Pack it. Let's see if we got about one. Yep, smush it. Smush it down. See why he's doing this? It's called packing the sugar. He's smushing it. Okay. Let, let me check on it. Do I even need a measuring cup? Once again. Well packed brown sugar. And One I cup. I didn't have to pour, maneuver, or do anything else. One cup exactly, I didn't need. Okay, so we have one cup of butter. And we're going to add one cup of butter into our mixture. And then we're going to add in uh, some vanilla here. And we're going to do about one and a half of vanilla. So one and a half uh, teaspoons, that is. So that will be three of these halves. One, two, three, tea, uh, three which is one and a half. So there we go. And now we're going to take and we're going to mix this doodad around. Same deal as we did with the snicker noodles, and we'll come to a nice creamy consistency. Then we will add in the egg. Alright, so we're going to take two eggs. So we're going to add in one egg and then beat. So one egg and then beat. Cream in each egg at a time separately. This is going to ensure that the cookies are nice and soft. As we as it seems, baking is very temperamental compared to cooking regular things. So you have to do things in a series of steps in order to get a desired result. So cream in your next egg.
Okay, so here is the base for our cookies here. And we're going to add in some flour, the oats, salt, and the rest of our ingredients here to get it nice and seasoned on it. Yeah, that's oatmeal cookie dough. Okay, well, here you go. Add in two cups of flour now, guys. So now we have the base. Now we're going to add in flour. This one does not require cream of tartar. This one requires baking soda, though. Baking soda? That's yep. weird. Yep, baking soda. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda. And this is called leveling it off. See, Kaden? Level yeah. it off. Hey, you dropped some. I know. Well, that's fine because it's leveled off. See? Okay, we're going to put in our baking soda. I have too much my plate in here. your hand. Add in a pinch of salt. I want to add the pinch of salt and popcorn. Yeah, a little bit of salt. Yeah, pinch of salt. <laughs> okay, well, let's not talk about Toasted. Grandma's salt on the popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I like she, salt on the She popcorn. adds a lot of salt into the popcorn. It's like her mouth dries up like the Sahara. <laughs> and she pours like. She does to do it. She does three pitches. Three? Oh wow. Okay, that's a lot of salt. Okay, we're gonna do two te uh, teaspoons here of that. So we did one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of this, a little pinch of salt, and then some flour here. No, 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 not a spoon. Not a spoon. We're gonna mix it around again, back into our mixture here. Now pull the fork and stir it. After this is done, we're going to fold in the oats, and we're going to get three cups of oats out. Oh! I wash my face. You wash your face? I'll turn around and show, show this. Look, look, you got it, everyone. Look, look, it's on me, too. Oh. It's all over the stove. <laughs> Whoops. It's a dirty job. But someone has to do it. Okay, so as we clean up here, we're going to start adding in our oats next. So there's just cookie dough flying everywhere. We'll be right back. Okay, almost oh, Sorry. Yeah, here's some oats to go into your uh, oatmeal cookies here. A yep. horse would love this. Look at all those oats. Do you want to pour them in? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we we'll pour them in. This is three cups of oats. I had to wipe still off my finger on to my pants. Oh, okay, how professional of you. All right, so we're gonna oh God, fold in the oats. Okay, so we're folding in our oats here and we're about done. So I'll put the sugar cookie episode up on uh, the Facebook page and, and my website and stuff again. And you'll see it again. It's, it was a really good episode. Last year we did sugar cookies and peanut butter cookies. Even though I'm like deathly allergic to peanut butter, I can still make peanut butter cookies and survive. I just cannot eat them, fortunately. They looked really good though. Everyone ate the peanut butter cookies, that was the favorite one. Okay, so you can sit there and stir for a second. We're in the first place. And once again, folks, it's going to be about four hours. Do not do this at the last minute. And when you come back, you're going to stir in your raisins, your, your cranberries, or whatever you want to put in there. Some people even put nuts. Please, if you have someone who's allergic to nuts in your family, don't do that. Every I'm, Christmas, without I'm fail. I'm allergic to nuts. Well, I'm allergic to nuts. And every Christmas, my dang family there, my, my aunt, mean aunt, mean, mean aunt, you know what she would do to me? She'd make stuffing with nuts. She'd make cookies with nuts. She'd make gravy with nuts. Everything on the table had freaking nuts. Pecans, pecan pie, pecans in the, in the dang, uh, what's it stuff called? Sweet potatoes. It was everywhere. So every single Christmas, I'd sit over at my grandma's house or wherever we go to eat, especially if my aunt was doing it, I couldn't eat a bite. I just would sit there and it was like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Could never eat their food. So don't do that to people who are allergic to nuts. Please keep the nuts out of some of the food so they can eat. So if you're going to be making some cookies, make some of it with nuts and some of it without if you have someone who's allergic to nuts in your family. Nuts suck. Okay. <laughs> you're allergic to nuts. You're not allergic to nuts. You eat peanut butter all the time. You're yeah. lucky. You're lucky. You can eat peanut butter and you can eat chocolate. So, okay. I don't like you. No, you're not like me at all. Okay, so we're going to take some parchment. We're going to put this in the refrigerator once again. Minimum of four hours to, uh, least I'd like to see, four is best, 
eight is better. So we're gonna do about four hours on this stuff, and then we're gonna start getting it up onto our cookie trays it's and cooking it. It's hard to steer. It. Yes, it is hard to steer. Okay, so I took some raisins here, and I basically put in a good handful or so of raisins, and I'm folding them in. You can do more raisins if you want, or you can also add in some nuts. So once we've put these guys in there, what we're gonna do is just we're gonna take a good spoonful of our cookie dough. Because it will expand or make it into little drops. We put our little drops onto our sheet. And we're gonna place our drops a good inch apart. So about two cookies per row on this. If you get some straggling raisins, you can add those right back into them. Oh, straggling raisins. So this is what we're gonna do. And then after we get done doing this, we're going to basically flatten them and put some sugar over the top, just to give them a little bit of extra spruce of sugar. So it's a cookie without sweet. <laughs> there we go. Oatmeals are the first to go in because they're one of my favorites. Always like starting our oatmeals for the holiday season here. You want to do this on an ungreased cookie sheet, oven preheated to 375 degrees. So okay, we have these ones right here and put a little bit of sugar over them. Sugar, 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 sugar. Spit some sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. There we go. Okay, kind of flatten them down. You can use a fork or a spoon. Do drops. These guys are going to get pretty big. And we're going to put these guys into the oven to bake for about, oh, eight minutes or so. So we're going to put these guys in, then we're going to get a whole nother tray ready. There we go. And they go, and it's good. we're going to have some good cookies for Santa Claus. He's going to get nice and big and fat with all this milk this year, isn't he? No. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas to you. Okay. So we're going to let these bake. I'm going to get another well, tray. We have these guys in here bake it up. We're going to take some more little raisin guys here and add these in. And we're going to make one of Santa's favorite cookies here. We're going to make a oatmeal raisin with cranberry. Is Santa going to be happy to deliver all those presents tonight? I think he was hoping for some Oreos. Oreos? Homemade Oreo cookies. Well, we'll have to try that one next year. <laughs> Maybe. Milk's favorite cookie. You're a very picky Santa Claus. <laughs> Why don't they make homemade Oreo cookies? You can. You can make homemade all different types of cookies. So we're going to fold this stuff back in. Jumbo sized Oreo cookies. Oh. Make brownie cookies. Put cream in the middle between them. Make little brownie sandwiches. Okay, stop. Of course I'll have Santa's to wear... on a diet. I will have to wear a gas mask while we do that because of the smell of chocolate. will overwhelmingly kick my butt. <laughs> These were supposed to have Hershey's Kisses in them because I was going to make chocolate cranberry raisin cookies here. But, but, my chocolates were all eaten by someone. Yeah, someone. Get out of those candies. Someone, something. Yeah, someone has been eating all my chocolate candies that I was going to put into these. So, they just had their chocolate without their cookie. Okay, so we folded that stuff in, and that looks nice and pretty. You can see the reds and the blacks and the nice oatmeal coloration there. It's a very pretty, colorful cookie. And we're going to basically drop these on just like how we did with our other ones. Space one inch apart. Lily Sizzling could use some new cookie sheets. You're in the gift giving mood this holiday season. You could use new cookie sheets. These are like an ex-boyfriend's mother's cookie sheets from like when I was in like high school type <clears throat> age. <laughs> These are really old, old cookie sheets. And I have abused them and used them well. Thank you out there. You know who you are. All right. Get over there, Mr. Raisin. 
and keep dropping these guys one inch apart. Oven still preheated. Our other cookies are about ready to come out in a few minutes. My finger has cookie dough all over it and I can't lick it off because they, they say pregnant ladies can't eat raw eggs. That includes cookie dough because of the listeria. There's like a hundred and one things you're not, <clears throat> not supposed to do or eat or drink while you're pregnant and it's, it sucks. <laughs> so I'll have to have someone else enjoy my, my cookie dough for me. Once it's cooked though, I'll, I'll chow some down. <laughs> I'll eat one. <laughs> At least Sicily doesn't want to get too fat here on her own show. Alright, so we have our cookies. They're spaced apart. Okay, so we're going to add some sugar on top of them. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. There we go. Alrighty, so these guys are pretty much ready to go in. Just kind of give a little flattening to them so they have some form. Form them. Form them. It's a little press, not a lot of press. There we go. Alright, let's put these guys on here. Alright, so cameraman is over there eating while filming me, so if you hear crunching, that would be him eating cheese and crackers. Thank you, cameraman. Alright. Thank you for giving me permission to munch. No, you don't have permission to munch. Alright, so we're going to take out our first batch of cookies here. Find some room for them up here on our corner and stove. I never put my hands inside of these mitts. I have learned better. I get the cheap little uh, dollar store mitts here and try to put my hand in one one time and burnt the living poop out of my hand. Okay, so these guys are done. They're, you can see the golden brown coloration. They're crisp, but they're nice and soft in the middle. See the softness in the middle? That means that they're still nice and gooey. They're gonna sit for a good five minutes or so and cool, and then we'll put them onto a plate or if you have wire racks, which we don't have wire racks, but you can do it without wire racks because you don't need wire racks. So you can let these guys cool and then we'll get up another round of cookies after we finish all the oatmeal cranberry raisins and uh, start working on our snickerdoodles next. So this is what they look like and I'll show you again after I plate them. Okay, so our next cookie here is snickerdoodles. We have wrapped it up with our oatmeals. We've done oatmeal raisin and oatmeal raisin cranberries. So this time we're going to take a little bowl of sugar here, kind of like the oatmeal ones, except we're going to pour in some cinnamon with it. And a good couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. And basically kind of mix this around, mix it around the bowl. I just read an article on the news there about the latest thing is kids are snorting and smoking cinnamon. What? And doing that weird... They're smoking cinnamon. The cinnamon test where you get two teaspoons of cinnamon in your mouth or something. What's that? What's the cinnamon test? I guess you put two teaspoons of cinnamon in your mouth and try to like, make the person laugh or something. And people are ending up in the hospital because they're choking on it. And, or puking. Okay. It makes you puke or something. It's like automatically makes you puke if you eat too much cinnamon. That's disgusting. That's... That can't be true. Cinnamon flavored things were the only things I could eat while I was going through like hyperemesis. I had like really bad morning sickness where they had me on IVs and Zofran as if I could eat cinnamon twist. I don't understand why I could put two mouthfuls of cinnamon. I'm not going to eat two mouthfuls of cinnamon. You can't pay me. All right. So we have a little swirl here of cinnamon and sugar and we're going to take our cookie dough that has been allowed to set and we're going to basically make little balls of it and we're going to plop it in here and kind of let it roll on both sides. Just like this into the cinnamon and sugar and it's going to coat it really nice. See yeah, how we've got like that really nice coating on it? Then we're going to pop our little balls here onto parchment paper. Our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. A little bit different than our oatmeal cookies where we did preheat at 375. These preheat at 400. This part gets a little bit messy. You get a lot of cookie dough all over you. <laughs> but snickerdoodles are awesome and they are worth it. So, there we go. And just kind of roll it around in the cinnamon and the sugar mixture. Get on. 
Okay, you're going to place these guys once again a good inch apart because they do expand as we saw with our oatmeal cookies. We start with something like that but add it up, you know, with the really big cookies. So this tray is going to hold about eight of these, so you can just watch me roll them around in the cinnamon. This is a fun part for a child to do. Where are the children to come down to do this part? <laughs> I'm going to get my hands all... Yeah! <laughs> Cookie and candy making is always very messy, so be prepared. Better save them a tray. That you will get nice and messy when you do it. Oh, we have sugar cookies to do all. Oh, oh, good. Five dozen sugar cookies to do. What? I don't know how we're going to eat all these cookies. <laughs> we need someone to give them away to. If you'd like a tray of Lily Sizzling cookies, I can gladly ship them to you for free. Except you got to pay me the shipping. The cookies are free, of course. Whoa. Pay me for the shipping and we'll give you a little tin of cookies. Ten dollars. We'd like to buy some cookies. Okay, so we're going to keep doing this with our cookies here. I've got one tray up. We're going to get these guys into the oven about eight to ten minutes at 400 degrees. And so I'm going to sit here and finish up our second tray and get these guys into the oven. Okay, so welcome back. Caden, what are we going to do here? Tell the camera. Go Sprinkle all over the sugar cookies. Yep, these are the snickerdoodle oh, cookies. Put little bits of sprinkles over the top. Oh. Not a lot. You go through, you do all the cookies red and I'll do all the cookies green. There you go. Yep, I'm helping you do them red and green. Yep, put a little bit of red on all of them. Go back over the one side then. There you mine. I will. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, that's a lot of red, dude. <laughs> Here, let me give you a hand here. You're pouring it out everywhere. Those are going to be some really sugary cookies for Santa and his elves. <laughs> they will like totally spit it out. Those are really, really beautiful cookies, and I like the colors that we've got on here. Let's get a little bit more red on this guy. And a little bit more green. A little bit more green? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Don't be right. stingy. Okay, we won't be stingy. He, your son here, is not stingy when it comes to sprinkles. Look at his his cookies he's sprinkled compared to mine. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> he did it good. So let's get these guys onto a plate here in a few minutes, and we'll get ready to eat them, and uh, we're going to say our goodbyes. But let me get them onto a plate. Okay, cut. I really want to eat two. Thank you for watching another episode of Lily Sizzling, and tonight we did the, our snickerdoodle cookies. What do you call them again? Doodle cookies? Yes, and they're good. So nom, nom, nom. He's eating a doodle cookie. That's what he calls them. And we put the red and green sprinkles on them, as you saw, and then we did oatmeal, and uh, we did raisins with cranberries on one of them, and then just oatmeal raisins, just traditional cookies. It's pretty easy to make. Remember, let, let the dough uh, sit in your refrigerator overnight, preferably or a minimum of like two hours. Make good. Yeah, you made them very, very good. So that's how you make cookies, folks. Uh, uh, These are some cookies uh, for Santa, uh, and it's uh, going to be uh, awesome. Uh, I think Santa Claus is going to really like his cookies. Do you think Santa Claus will like his cookies? No, I'm sleepy from eating them. I'm sleepy from eating them, and that's the perfect ending to a... <laughs> That's a perfect ending to an episode when you get your child so full of cookies that they're sleeping from eating them. So, <laughs> perfect time for Santa Claus to come stop. Thank you for watching the episode of Lily Sizzling. You can always send me your thoughts, your ideas, and your suggestions. I'm going to take some really nice uh, still photos of these cookies and uh, I'll be detailing it step by step. I've been working on a cookbook uh, recently for everyone uh, so you'll be able to uh, buy and purchase a cookbook of all the recipes that we do. Um, uh, you can watch us on youtube.com backslash the rocks heart and you can watch us on releasesling.com which my website was hacked so I've, that's been well known all over facebook right now that's what's been going on so i made up a backup website that's sizzletastic.com s-i-z-z-l-e tastic t-a-s-t-i-c dot com so it's like a the little sizzletastic bird that i put on the logos and the shirts and all that stuff so i'll basically put that underneath uh, this youtube video for everyone to see so I wish you a happy holidays, and we're going to get going with these cookies, and we're going to be making some uh, awesome recipes all holiday season. We've got some uh, chicken casseroles with a homemade macaroni and cheese coming up, and we've got, uh, we've got stuffed shells with ice cream cakes. 
So it's going to be a really good holiday season. We're going to top it off uh, around New Year's time. We're going to be doing a episode with Mexican pizza that's going to be homemade. So some awesome uh, episodes coming up. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And like always, bon appetit, guys. Thank you.